Hey everybody, Neo Flynn here, and this is just going to be a quick video because I've had a couple um, of requests about um, how I do the footage um, for my arcades uh, reviews, the first take reviews and stuff, um, and how to basically get MAME up and running. Um, so I'm going to focus on the, the MAME part of it. As far as rec uh, capturing the footage, you can use really any screen capture software. Um, once you get MAME up and running. Um, I use one called Fraps just because it's very uh, easy to easy to use and uh, it allows the, the microphone recording at the same time. So that's the one I use. But um, So the first thing that you're going to want to do um, is you need to get the MAME software as well as the ROMs that are required to play it. Um, and the easiest way to do that is through a BitTorrent client. If you guys don't know what that is, it's basically a peer-to-peer -peer, um, sharing uh, software, basically. Um, so what you're going to do is just, you can use any BitTorrent. I use one called Views. Um, it's just what I use. You can use it. You can use whatever you want. And then basically, so once we get it up and running here, um, you're going to want to just do a search for MAME ROMs, and you're going to get a bunch of, you know, bunch of results. Um, the one that I would recommend you download is um, this right here, which should come up. Um, it's it's a pretty common one, um, and basically you're just going to click on it, and then you're going to click download. Um, it may take a while to download, depending on your speed, um, because as you can see, it is you know an 18 gigabyte file. <laughs> um, the reason I recommend this one is because it's got a few different versions of the actual MAME client in there, as well as you know pretty much all the ROMs you're going to need. Um, so it's a it's a kind of all-in-one pack. Um, you can kind of do those things piecemeal, but this is just the easiest way to get it up and running quickly. So once that downloads, um, you're going to get a, a folder um, with all of that stuff in it. Um, and I've got mine here. Um, basically all these right here um, are the different versions of MAME. Um, uh, this MAME UI32 is a really good one. Um, I prefer the the MAME B uh, MAME P GUI, just because it's it's got a a nicer interface um, <clears throat> that I like. Um, and the the advantage to to downloading it the way that we downloaded it is we don't have to do any of the moving around. We don't have to move our files. Um, if you down if you just downloaded MAME, which you can find easily on the web, is it's it's an open source um, thing and it's free. Um, <clears throat> then you would have to go and find the ROM separately and then you would want to put them in your your ROMs folder here but we've already it's already done for us so we don't have to do that so here's all all the ROMs um, already in there so what you're gonna do um, after that is you're just gonna you know pick any one of these um, like I said I use this one um, but you can use any of them just kinda mess around with all of them find which one you like and once you uh, click on that it's going to open up some <clears throat> excuse me something similar to this um, which is the the actual main client um, what's really cool about this one is you you can you know you can sort the games differently um, and then you can actually display the, the snapshot of the game the flyer what the actual cabinet and what it looked like um, which is kind of cool uh, <clears throat> I like to have mine on the snapshot there's other you know various ways you can you can navigate the games but this one is just easiest to get things up and running but the first thing that you're going to want to do once you open it for the first time is you're going to need to um, audit your games so that MAME can actually go through the folder that you tell it um, and actually let me go back because I'm not sure it's been a while since I <laughs> set mine up so I can't remember if this was default the first thing that uh, you may have to do if it doesn't work right away is um, go to options and then go to this directories tab and you're gonna have to tell it um, where the the actual ROMs are if it's if it's not already there but like I said you know you're just gonna click browse go to wherever um, you have your your main thing stored and just click on the ROM folder so that it knows where to look for the actual ROMs and then once you do that uh, you're gonna want to do this audit all games um, which I'll go ahead and do some of them you're gonna get errors on some of them um, 
and you can periodically go and try and find new ROMs and, and, and see if you can fix some of the ones that don't work. Um, but with this set, you're going to get, you know, all the major games that you're going to want to play <laughs> are going to be in there. And as you can see, it's going to scroll through the whole list. Um, and it'll tell you, you know, it'll give you all this error log of all the ones that aren't going to work. <laughs> and I'm, I'm not as knowledgeable enough to tell you, you know, how to fix those problems. But... <laughs> We just want to get it up and running. So as it goes through this whole big long thing here, and then it's going to go through the samples. And once that's done, then you're good to go. Um, the easiest way to find um, games that you can play is just click on this working tab, and that'll automatically pull up any, you know, all the ones that are working and ready to go. Um, and then you just scroll through the list, find a game you want to play double click on it and it's going to load it up. Now I definitely recommend if you're, you're planning on doing any serious playing that you get either a joystick or a gamepad. Um, I just use a gamepad um, <clears throat> until I build my actual cabinet. <laughs> it works for me. And I have one that's by Logitech. I can't remember what it was called. Um, actually, let, let me look at it here. It might say on the back. Yeah, it's Logitech Dual Action, which is basically a Logitech controller that looks exactly like a DualShock. Um, so, um, you, you're definitely going to want to get one of those if you're going to be doing any serious playing. So, then it's just a matter of each game you go into, you may need to tweak the buttons how you want. Um, and you do that, you can hit tab, and then it'll pull up this menu screen. And if you just go into the input for this game, then you can change the buttons however you want um, to get it working how you want it to. And so, I have, you know, you've got a coin a button that I put on the gamepad and then the, the player one start I put on my gamepad as well. So you just hit the coin button to drop coins in, hit your player one start button, and then fire away. And for some reason, I don't know why my right is not working. <laughs> Up and down are working. But yeah, so that's how you get it up and running. Now one thing I forgot to mention, if you do get a gamepad, um, you're going to have to to set that up. So you're going to go to options, um, default game options, and then go to controllers, and you're going to want to enable joystick input, which will allow you, allow you to use your gamepad or joystick for that. Um, so that's it, guys. I mean, it's very simple to get up and running, um, and a lot of fun to, you know, play some of the classic arcade games. And so yeah, hopefully that gets you guys up and running. Um, if you do have any questions, uh, drop me a message. I'll try and help you out as best I can. Um, and yeah, guys, hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial on how to get MAME up and running on your system. Take care, guys.